It is essentially five weeks since Superstorm Sandy made landfall in the Northeast. Within 48 hours, we were on the ground in the truck driving south towards Staten Island. Being able to, to help people address a need that they have is far more gratifying and humbling than anything else that I've done. Are you happy because Cincinnati Zoo animals are here to visit with you? Yeah! It's so much better to see a live animal than a photograph or a moving picture of an animal, and that's the role that the Cincinnati Zoo can play. Some of the students that we see need to understand that they are okay because the animal thinks they're okay. So it's important for us to bring the animal to them in their classroom. They can be eyeball to eyeball, finger to tail, and that touches something inside of them that maybe they didn't know was there before. She's called a Turaco. What's wonderful is they understand that they can impact what happens to animals, that they have a sense of empowerment, that yes, I can treat this animal kindly. And that's a way that they can see what, what happened with animals, and hopefully that can make a bridge to what happens with people and an animal helps bring that out. Good morning, everybody! Everybody can have a seat. We'll go over what our options and choices are for today. We've got Miss Sarah Rossi. Come on down. It's essential for us to be able to offer an equal playing field to the individuals in wheelchairs to have the same opportunities and experiences as their peers. For a long time there, our individuals in wheelchairs just wave goodbye. Really what our goal and mission to do is to give them an outlet for six hours a day that they can come, be themselves, and really relax and, and do it in a health safe and loving environment. I think that's one of the neat things about Stepping Stones that we really try to focus in on our individuals' abilities rather than their disabilities. The unique thing about Sarah is, you know, she looks at it as every day is a gift for her to be able to make the most out of what she has, and I wish I had half the heart and spirit that she has. We have had roughly, I think, 665 volunteers come through, register with us, and go out and assist families. That's the water mark up there. For us, it's going in and actually getting our hands dirty and doing that physical labor of cleaning out these homes. Um, it really is, you know, handing them a bottle of water or carrying out their flooded mattress. We get to know the homeowners, you know, their kids, their friends and family, um, and we go into their houses and we help them take that first step to start down what is uh, typically a very long road. When you're in these environments, you realize that we're all in this together and that we can't do it on our own. To have an organization establish a program like 100 Cars for Good and identify those nonprofits that have a huge need for a vehicle, whether it's a truck, whether it's a handicap accessible van, or if it's you know a car just for organizations to, to get out in the field and do what they need to do, collaboration is it's what makes everything possible. You know, people have to come together for a cause greater than themselves um, in order for, for things to happen. Toyota, let's go places.